in this relay. We are guaranteed big welcome for the first team to be introduced. Now the team in lane number two. And they're from the whole nation of Portugal. In lane one, Portugal! And here is the team, Gino Catano, Ivo Rocha. Manuel Gonzalez and the medalist from yesterday, David Garcia. And they have Garrido, Bruno, David Levesque, Martin Fernandez, Perez Diego, strong Russian team in line four, the Ukrainians. They're a strong team as well. That looks like a formidable outfit from the Ukrainians. The Italians, what can they do? A lower class swimmer going on the final leg. And Hungary. Led off by former Olympic Olympian Thomas Deutsch, Olympic backstroker, Atlanta, Sydney, Barcelona. Now Thomas Deutsch going in lane number seven for Hungary, Italy in six, Ukraine start off with Bozinski. Russia start off with the lower class swimmer, who is Andrei Gladkov. He is a superb backstroker. So underway, Liz, it's all about the points here. Yeah, and the best start there coming from Italy in lane six. But as you said, Paul, this race is largely down to tactics and where you place your higher class swimmers. And Russia have gone off, they are at the back of the moment with Andrei Gladkov, but he's a great S700 metres backstroker, so they're using their lowest classification from early on. But at the moment, Italy are taking the lead with their S10 swimmer, Riccardo Manciotti, as he turns first. Well, Manciotti, his first position, that is the S10 swimmer, and he's being pushed now by Thomas Deutsch, the S10 swimmer from Hungary. And we talked about at the start of the race going well in lane number five. Bozinski is an S8 swimmer for Ukraine, and he is alongside the team in lane number two. It's Gino Catano going well for Portugal. At the moment, Gladkov is down in fifth position, and the Italians go in in first position. And it is Federico Morlaki and Tamas Tok for Hungary. Rodrigo Malaki did win that SB800 metre breaststroke at the start of the night, the first event of the night, so he's back in for his second 100 metres breaststroke of the evening. And Thomas Falls is a classification above him swimming for Hungary as they go down his first 50 of the breaststroke leg. Uh, it looks like uh, Russia as well coming back in lane number four. That's the champion from tonight, Pavel Portasev. Dimitro Vanzenko as well for Ukraine coming back into contention now. And it does look like it is just lane number five, still holding the lead, more lucky. But the two SB9 swimmers coming back very, very strongly here. Van Zenko and also Poltasev, the champion from earlier. It is going to be very close as they go into halfway. Yeah, Frederico Malachi holding on to that lead for the Italians, but they do have to try and get a big, big lead to give their lower classification swimmer a chance on that final freestyle leg, so this butterfly leg, all important for all four of these nations. Well, it's very close, Morlaki did keep the Italians ahead, Thomas Tok was second for Hungary, but coming through now in lane number four for Russia, Dmitry Grigorev, and they have a very, very strong anchor leg in Denis Tarasov, and it looks like the Ukrainians will have to get back on terms here. Denis Dubrov, the champion in the 100 butterfly, and he's not really making much of an impression on Grigorev, but 
really looks like Ukraine are going to have to get in ahead of the Russians if they're going to have a chance with this one. Italy still going well with Simone Kiuli, but they have an S6 swimmer on the final leg, so they'll be doing well to hold on for the bronze medal position. Dmitry Grigorek has had an amazing fly leg here as he comes in to hand over to the S800 freestyle world record of Denis Tarasov. So they are in pole position because Ukraine now has an S7 in the form of Boadeco going on this freestyle leg and the Italians an S6 so they've used up their advantage and it really is you wouldn't expect these positions to change now Paul in this final hundred meters well certainly not the first and second position because Denis Tarasov is away and clear for the Russians they are the world record holders they set that record in Glasgow last year at a time of 406.09 at the world championships Boadaiko holding on to the second place, clearly in second place for the Ukrainians, but it looks like these positions now are set for first and second, and in comes to the last 20 metres, the last 15 metres, it's Denis Tarasov, and the world record has just slipped by, but it's going to be a convincing victory for Russia, they will take it in 410.60, it is going to be silver, to Ukraine, Ukraine come in with Yevgeny Bordaiko and it's going to be yet another medal to the Italian team as Bocchiardo comes in in lane number six in the bronze medal position, a great swim from the Italians there. Absolutely, it did look like going down that first 50 meter he might be under pressure from Hungary and Andres Senzi, but Andres Senzi coming in now to touch in fourth place, he might have just cut overcooked it a little bit as he went down that first 50 meters of the last leg. Spain coming in now with Perez Diego on the final leg, and here are the Portuguese swimmers, David Grashop for Portugal in there, they finish in sixth position. But really, it was all about the Russian team, the strong Russian team. They went off with a lower class swimmer, Gladkov, in the yeah, opening leg. So often these 34 point relays and the 20 point relays are all about tactics and which swimmers you have available to you. And the Russians did start off with an S7, but he's a, he's a world class 100 meters backstroker and he didn't give too much away. But really, the telling length of them did come down to Dmitry Grigorev's brilliant 100 fly because he didn't let the champion of the Ukraine, Denis Dubrov, make up any ground on him at all. No, he didn't. Grigorev swam a very, very good 100 metres butterfly there and once Denis Tarasov was on his way, the S8 swimmer was never really in doubt here. Denis Tarasov finishes for the victorious Russian team there. And there's Gladkov. Yeah, he's happy. Walter Service had a good day, winning the 100 breaststroke, and then being in the top team in the relay. Denis Tarasov, he's, he's the man to have on your last leg, isn't he? Yeah, that Russian team is full of strength and quality, and they're just fortunate, as the results come in here, that they have four swimmers with four good strokes that work for that 34-point combination. Russia take the men's 4x100 medley relay ahead of Ukraine and Italy, the bronze medal.